Gavin calling records giant CDs with lines on them. <laughs> oh shit, we're recording again. Uh, 2017, the year where journalists became Henry's enemies and juggalos became heroes. Hello everybody, and welcome to our very first ever, well actually technically second ever, second show. Second show! Second show! Second show! Se- whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well that like died. Like we all started, stopped at sec. <laughs> so. Gavin's laying down. <laughs> Gavin's lying. Gavin uh, is, Gavin's phoning it in. really got to me, guys. He is phoning it in. Uh, Look at this. Yeah, P car's on the floor. <laughs> Doc <laughs> Bold is out. stretched out. Uh, this is actually really nice. <laughs> Pizza Dad's drinking what is that, a hoppy pills? Yeah, well, I've used the bathroom three times already. Where, I wish I had the bladder you guys have. You know, That's, That goes with age, by the way. So. Yeah, well, whatever. Enjoy That's it. something to look forward to. It just means enjoy I'm retaining it. water. Enjoy it while uh, you got it. Yeah, and then uh, on the couch, it's... Uh, the professor hey. and uh, I, nice. Doc Taste, and uh, yeah, we are here to because we don't want to record the day after Thanksgiving. We're recording two in a row. Christmas, full transparency. Whatever. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Tells you that we're all already. We buzzed. are all seven Listen, sheets to the wind. I've been drinking quite a bit, and I spend most of my days in a windowless office that doesn't have heat because it's going to cost. The company twenty grand to put heat in there. That sounds magical. It's a fucking. So, nightmare. do you have like a space heater for your cubicle? Yeah, or? There are four space heaters positioned throughout the office. Pretty sure that goes against like you know workers' OSHA? rights and OSHA and all that. Yeah, kind of stuff. that's definitely not OSHA approved. Yeah, I mean, there's a. I which mean, just sad because you have a government contracted job. Yeah, Ew, well, that's why. Yup. Damn government. Uh, blame Trump. <laughs> blame Canada or whoever. Anyway. Yeah, a bunch of those two weird hosers up there from the Great White North area. Yeah, hey, don't you know? I know, yep. right? Hey, take off, oh, hosers. Hey. Yep. Uh, yeah, we are still watching uh, IMSA. Still watching the 86 Charlotte Motor Speedway uh, GTP for, race. From a week ago. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> or a week <laughs> in the future. I'm sorry to we ruin just, the magic. Sure. Yeah, there we there. go. Sure, yeah. Dad. We've just been watching it for seven days. Yeah. yeah. There we go. There it is. Still yeah. going. That's how long the races went back yeah. then. Yeah. Although, in yeah. fairness, it did take me about two weeks to watch... Uh, Another IMSA race. I'm not surprised. Well, I just couldn't find time to sit down for an hour and a half. That's okay. Uh, yeah. None of us can. Nope. Uh, anyway, so we have uh, a few more things on the agenda here. And uh, I did come up with a question last week, if you were listening. Um, well, we still want to hear your suggestions with it. It'll be the first thing that you can answer in the new year. Yes. Hey. Yes. New yes. 2018. Yes. I didn't think I'd make it this far. We're two years away from the 20s. Thank God. The That's funny what Jesus. we were thought. Are we going to call it that? Is it going to be called the 20s, even though 1920s were the 20s? I, I think we're going to call it the 2020s, honestly. I have a record the that says the, the sounds of the gay 90s. Yes. Yeah. From the 1890s. From the 1890s. Yes. They that were gay. Work. Yes, they Everyone were. Everyone was happy. Uh, there was a time where men had to wear hats when they left the house. And a suit coat. It was very weird. If you, didn't wear, if you didn't wear a hat, it was fucking DEFCON 1 situation. Yeah. It's true. Yep. Philadelphia rioted in the 19-teens because summer just kind of kept on going, and men did not, they wanted to keep wearing their straw summer hats instead of like their fucking the beaver pelt bowlers. Yeah. The bullas. Yeah, it was like 85 going into September, and they're like, I don't want to wear this, you know, very hot hat. I could just picture Brick from uh, Anchorman walking around. <laughs> Loud noises! Just yelling, because he doesn't know what to do. He's confused, because he doesn't know. I mean, it was on. a lot like the Anchorman Brick. fight, you know? Yeah. Brick? Brick. Brig? Brick. Greg? Brick. 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 Got it. Steven? <laughs> <laughs> Steven! Anyway. So... <laughs> Anyway, so uh, the question I came up with, which I think we'll just lead off with. Um, So this summer, my girlfriend and uh, her family went to uh, Europe. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, in a few days, or a few days before you hear this. Yes. uh, (laughs) The girlfriend's brother, the uh, guitarist of Methuselah Worm, Mike, and uh, his girlfriend, the saxophonist in Methuselah Worm, Kayla, awesome. uh, they are going to Japan and then a brief stop in Hong Kong before coming home. Awesome. So when my girlfriend said that they were going to Europe, I instantly looked up a bunch of different race calendars to see if I were to go along, what races I could leave them to watch. Yeah, not a lot. Nothing. The only thing that was happening was at the end of the trip, uh, the European Le Mans series was at Paul Ricard. Ooh. 
Yeah, but that was like the very end of the trip when they were in England. I would have had to remain in France. Yeah, like the south of France. Isn't that towards the bottom half of France? Yeah. Paul but, Ricard. But Paul Ricard is an amazing place. It is a beautiful track. Yeah. Just and do then, it. Uh, and it's back on the Formula One calendar next year. Yes, it is. Oh, Thank God. The first triple header. Anyways. Yep. Sorry. And then, uh, you know, going to Japan, you know, she suggested I give them some stuff to do. And I said outside of, you know, Diver City Mall in Odaiba to go to Gundam Base Tokyo and right. to see the one-to-one. Yep. You know, Unicorn Gundams. Gundam, yep. which does transform from Unicorn mode to full-on, like, destroy mode. Um, which we all know what that is. Nope. Well, <laughs> listen, you can look this shit up. Go to Gundam Info on YouTube. The entire run of Gundam Unicorn is on there for you to watch, dubbed and everything. And most of it is on this uh, dresser right here as well. Only one is. Oh. Yeah. Well, I am learning. Don't have many uh, Unicorn kits up there. Okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, she suggested some stuff for me to tell them to do, but the majority of my trip, yeah, I would go to Diver City and Odaiba, but I would try to go to Odaiba when D1, when the D1 round was happening in that parking lot, and then I would go to, like, Ebisu and Scuba and, you know, all the delightful little circuits out there. Suzuka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Fuji. Fuji. Yeah. yeah, just go there and, you know, maybe try to take in a track day. Or if it's Ebisu, you know, Motegi. rent a JZX90 from Andy Gray at Power Vehicles and, yep. you know, just try to get in some big, long tandem train with eight or nine of my new friends who don't speak a lick of English. Yes. But know what I mean when I reach my hand out the window and start slapping the door. Slapping door. So my question is, you know, what if, <laughs> dear God. Yes, we're K seeing car a, versus the tempo. We're seeing a Plymouth K car commercial, and it is. I don't even know what that is. Is that a Mitsubishi Mirage? And who is this old wow. guy talking? I don't know. This is a Canadian commercial, so MSRP comparison of base models. Wow, Dodge, Dodge Aries. Aries Plymouth Reliant. Fuck. We just want to be the best. Was the slogan? <laughs> Did you see that? Well, you're we not, just want to be the best. You're not doing a good. We're job. not promising. We're just telling you what we want. We're just trying, okay? Yeah, we're just try- <laughs> trying our best. Give us a break. We just want to be the best. God. You tried, Plymouth. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> eh? We're just trying to be your car company. You yeah, know, you're right, eh? Take off, eh? So anyway, uh, the question is, what country would you go to and completely ignore all the touristy stuff? So like. You go to Japan, but you wouldn't go to Tokyo. You would go to like England, but you wouldn't go to London. You know, stuff mm, like that. Yeah. Yes. Pizza Dad is raising his hand. Yeah, I already know because I've already done it. Yeah, hey, you've already done it. Slam. I did it. I did it. Next time I do it is when I pick up my car from oh. the factory. So you're going to go to Korea. Marinello. Oh. Going to Marinello, which if you ever go to Marinello, which is in Italy, where Ferrari is made, gee whiz. You don't say. Yeah. For those of you who don't know. How about that? Yeah. Knocks me over with a hammer. <laughs> A.K.A. the Holy Mecca of all the world. The place where Christ was born. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are several people who will take yeah, umbrage No, he was that. born in a 250 bread van. We all know this. It's in the Bible. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's really in the middle of BFE nowhere in like central Italy. Like If you try oh, yeah. to go there, it is a pain in the ass. You go from the nice Italian trains that take you through the Alps and through Milan, and then you get off at... Uh, Mm, uh, Bologna, Bolo- Bologna, 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 Bologna. Bologna. It's Bologna. Yeah. Bologna. Bologna. I always thought that was a flavor. Yeah, you get off of Bologna and then you ride this like my, communistic. My train. Bologna has a first name. Yes, it's O S C A R. You ride this communistic train from the '60s that has no air conditioning. You shit right onto the tracks. It's fantastic, and you ride that for like a couple, like an hour or two into Marinello. Um, well, actually, no, you don't even get into Marinello. You get into Modena, and then there you have to take a taxi to Marinello because the train doesn't actually go to Marinello. And just like so you know, no one speaks English in Modena. So uh, really? Be, be ready for that. This place that's really aggressive to get to, nobody speaks English? Yeah. You don't and say. they always hit on your wife if you're married and or girlfriend if you go with them. So just be ready for that as well. But what about if I'm pretty? Well, then they'll hit on you, my Yay. Girl, dear leader. But then once you get into Marinello, oh, sweet I Moses. mean, in today's day and age, it's anybody's guess of yeah. which direction the Italians swing. Yeah. Marinello is the Ferrari factory, and uh, I just forgot the name of their freaking racetrack that they have built there. What Fiorano. Else? There you go. Fiorano. You oh, see Fiorano first because you crest over a bridge, which Fiorano's right to the right of, 
and then you come down into Marinello, and it's beautiful, and it's fantastic. So do it. There you go. Well, aren't so sorry. Ferrari's in Marinello, yeah. and then isn't Lamborghini also close? Yeah, they're and in Ducati. Yes, and Pagani. Yes, I think Lamborghini is in Modena or maybe Bologna. I think Modena. they're in Bologna. They're in Bologna. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're in the main stop, which is in the beautiful part. That actually is actually a beautiful city. Marinello, not so beautiful. There is a cool church there. That they do ring the bells whenever Ferrari wins, so that's awesome. But they didn't win when I was there because you know it was an off season. But it was in the V eight era. Um, but yeah, yeah, Ducati's I think is in Modena, and then uh, so you could really do like an yeah. Italian trip and not go to like Rome, yep. or Tuscany, yep. or any of those. Yep, Sicily. You can avoid all that shit and just see all the cars right in central Italy. Nice. Yeah. I don't know where Alfa Romeo's based, but I'm assuming hmm. it's close. Alfa is right by Ferrari, isn't it? I didn't see it. Or are they in Milan? I think they... I don't know where they are. They might be in Rome? I don't know. Well, wherever their weird-ass factory that had, like, that giant oval track on the roof of. Yeah, that's in Rome. That's yeah. in freaking downtown Rome. Yeah, yeah so, so there we go. Mm. So, yeah, or was that in Milan? I think I it might have been Milan. Yeah, it might have been in Milan. Anyways, so yeah, of course, me being the fanboy that I am for the, the, the cars in red... Well, That's there red. you go. Would go. You mean guards red? Have been. No. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Mm. Yeah. On that note, Gavin, where would you go? Uh, I mean, I could have a whole vacation of renting a 911, get it on the Audubon. Yes. So, of course, you'd start in Stuttgart. Yeah. And then go th- go to the ring, drive the car on the ring. Yes. I would basically do what everyday driver's pilgrimage yes. is, which is well, the but- Nürburgring and then Spa. Here's here's a little tidbit that I'll throw into this. If you go to the ring, you have to stay at the Hotel Hotel Tiergarten, is what it's called. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you need to stay there because Sabine Schmidt's mom owns it. Nice. Okay, funny story. And we Everyday all like driver Sabine Schmidt. Was, yeah. Yes, we Todd do. Todd and Paul were just there. Yeah. And they actually had a home-cooked meal by Sabine Schmidt's. Were they at the Hotel Tiergarten? think so yeah that's why nice yeah all the real like jeremy clarkson stays there all yeah. the drivers the big time drivers stay there just because sabine yeah. schmidt's family owns it and runs it and I, she's I, there it's either that cool. or like it was her house it was like yeah, <laughs> yeah. funny story we uh, when i went to marinella we also went through belgium and germany yeah and our only stay in germany was going to be the nurburgring but we were scheduled to get there on sunday mm. but in europe everything on sunday is closed oh so like here yeah, there's yeah. no longer a bus that goes from, and I think the closest is Frankfurt. The closest main city is Frankfurt. I Frankfurt. Think probably. And there's like the Nurburgring is even further out. And so I called. Yeah, it's in the, the middle of I had nowhere. booked the hotel Tiergarten and gotten a room there. Yeah. And I called the hotel and it sounded just like Sabine Schmitz. I was talking to Sabine, but it was her mom. Funny. And I told her I was like, "Hey, we're pl- trying to come in on a Sunday." I looked up the rental cars. They're all closed at eleven. Our train comes in at one. How do I get there? She's like, well, unless you have a car. And she started laughing at me. Yeah. So you don't have a car, then you don't really have a chance. So I had to cancel the booking and end up paying for a night that we didn't get to stay there. So. That sucks. That's so right. Plan ahead. Take a car. Yeah. Sounds good. Good choice. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, also, if you go to Germany, um, do go to Berlin. Yes. They do have these giant public car parks Ooh. where if you watch Paul Hollywood's uh, European road trip or whatever, he does go to Berlin and... There are these amazing car parks where you will see like Enzos oh. and like crazy like one of a handful Porsches and these insanely rare cars just parked. Yeah, parked in this like public car park that is arranged like a museum. Wow. Yeah, and they're free to the public. Huh. So yeah, I wouldn't park my car there. It's like people are going to look at my car while it's in here when I'm away. Well, yeah, but I mean, like people are going to look at it, but they're not going to like. Paw Touch it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Rub yeah. their D's but, on it. Wait, wait, wait. So is it... It's... Is it, it an actual parking lot for a business? Or is it no, just it's like long-term? Like, it's just a plot of land that's like... It's like a paved. It's like a building. Wow. Like, oh, it's a garage. Yeah, like it is a... Oh, Yeah, okay. like a parking structure. And it that looks, makes sense. Yeah, it looks insane. Awesome. That makes sense. Yeah, go ahead and uh, fire up Netflix and watch Paul Hollywood's uh, Great Berlin. European Road Trip, yeah. and just watch the Germany episode. And you like it's the first ten or fifteen minutes, and you'll see that awesome. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Plus, just Berlin's amazing. I'm sure. Yeah, I've never been, but I I bet it's amazing. Nice. So, yeah, uh, Dave, you're furiously scrolling through your phone. Yeah, um, <clears throat> he's coming down. Dave's coming down. 
Bumble's blowing up. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, coming down. Grinder's he's blowing he's up, the boy. Downhill. It really is, though. <laughs> it is, though. Got to get that sausage on the interwebs. He's you on know? the downhill. Mm. Giggity. Uh, no, yeah, honestly, I would probably go to, like, Sweden or Finland, Ooh. and I would just go hang out with all the folk racers. Yes. That a boy. That'd be awesome. That's yeah. cool. But go there when there's a WRC race going on. Or oh, that, yeah. That, yeah, that absolutely. Weekend, yeah. That I mean, would be an experience. Just, just yeah, like the rallying racing in Sweden general. or whatever it is where they have everybody... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everybody's at that one big-ass jump. jump. In the snow, and you get that sweet launch, and it's yeah. just like... Whoosh. And they actually measure, like, the distance. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. And the set yeah. records. Yes, I would do that. That'd be amazing. That's what you gotta do. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. That That's what I would do. Love it. I would I would go over there. I Love mean, it. that's where my peoples is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the bricks. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. No. I would... Love it. Yeah. I'd go to Japan, like I said. I'd go to, like, Ebisu and Scuba and all that stuff. But I'd also go to, like, you know, Daikoku Futo, the different parking areas. Right. I would try to get a ride with somebody, you know, in a Wangan car. Yes. Just because, yeah. Because why not? Damn right. When in Rome. You know. Or Japan. At the Tokyo Bay Aqua Line. See if I can get a ride in a Kanjo car. See if I'll let one of those lunatics let me drive their stripped out Civic. So... Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Go to Japan and just do all the crazy ass car stuff. The car culture so there crazy, is freaking amazing in Japan. It's so great. Well, I mean, we've said it before and we'll say it again. There's no such thing as a casual hobbyist of anything in Japan. No, that's true. Ten tenths. You either don't give two shits about it yeah. or it consumes every fiber of your being. Either way, you go full bore. Yes. Yes. I Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. I, yeah. I do want to go to Japan like super bad. It would be amazing. Oh, yeah. So. One of our uh, one of our listeners, Aaron Escarin. I don't know if you guys know him. He's mm-hmm. a, a pretty well accomplished photographer. Lives in Hawaii, but he went to uh, Japan well, four or five, three or four years ago mm. as a friend, an expat who lives there, who has a, a DC two Type R. Oh Hell yeah! And Very went nice. to a track day at one of the. They have a ton of tracks there too. Yeah, yeah. which it was a little I, local I, track again. You no know, such yeah. thing as a casual hobbyist. Yeah, exactly. No, like and went. Went to a full-on track day, which I think the total cost came to like $300. Yeah. Yeah. Which is amazing. We don't get that here. No, we don't. And it's... I mean, well, I mean... Well, we do in a way, but it's not the same. Like, he had unlimited track time. Yeah. They, didn't have to wait for sessions and all that shit. It's just they like, run it very differently yeah, there. Yeah, it was beautiful. Anyways, yeah, it was good. So, yeah, I would love... That's a good choice, yeah. dear leader. And it's close to your home, North Korea. <laughs> because Jokes. North Korea is best Korea. Jokes. North <laughs> Korea. <laughs> we re- God, I need to... Yeah, wait. Uh, did we bomb him by this time next week? I don't know if that happened. I hope not. I mean, this week, uh, the week after Christmas. <laughs> uh, I hope not. But if you're listening to this, uh, welcome to uh, Fallout. Hey, welcome to the end of the world. So you see uh, that white stuff falling down. That's actually not snow. Not snow. You know how it burns? Mm. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Stay inside. Yeah. Don't breathe. Anyway, um, well, I think that leads us to... We got a couple... No, no. So here's what we're going to do. Everybody's gassed. For the second the uh, show. speaking of Japan and craziness and right. everything, um, if you're of a certain age and you were a big got a JDM freak, you knew who Top Secret was. Yes. Oh you, yeah. Even if yeah. you weren't, like yeah. I was, I'm a casual JDM fan. But you know Top Secret. I know Top Secret. And you know it sounds pretty secretive. And <laughs> you know Smokey Nagata and his, those who know, you know. know. <laughs> Smoky Nagata, the guy who founded it, uh, it's called Top Secret because he was working on the different Top Secret stuff when he was working at Trust, or as we know it here in North America, Greddy. Ah, yes. So it was like a little side project that he was doing. You know, he's an old school, like, <laughs> Wongan racer, you know, allegedly a member of the former, you know, Wongan crew, Midnight. Right. You know. Which all the... All the crate, like, yeah. there's... There's a anim- there's an anime and a manga series called Wangan Midnight. Yep, and it's loosely based on, on those guys. the Midnight Crew, like their crazy exploits and all that stuff. Their tuge or whatever they call them and stuff like that. Uh, uh, no, okay. Toge was like more initial D. Toge, like so. Wangan is like just running the highway at crazy high speed. Oh, I see. You know, like nuts. If you get on Speed Hunters and you poke around deep enough in their archives, you'll see a bunch of features of like FDs and like Supras with covers over the rear wheels wow aerodynamics exactly right yep smart yep cool so yeah these are dudes who are hitting on like 180 on, you right. know, public highways in japan that's amazing yeah. they weren't doing freeway pulls they were like yes we want to go from here you know be like in utah going yeah. from like you know they were farmington Bonnet- to 
Provo as yeah. fast as you could. They were Bonneville salt flatting on public roads. Eggs. Well, yeah, close yeah. enough. So anyway, um, yeah, he built a bunch of crazy ass cars, crazy high horsepower, you know, Wangen cars, like you know, just to do these cannonballs. One of the cars that he built was a V12 powered Supra. Wow. Yeah, they pulled the uh, V12 out of a Century, a Toyota Century limousine. Awesome. Put it in a JZ80 Supra chassis. Did this crazy front end, you know, gold paint, bulks, big, you know, trust wheels. The Mark IV. It is smoky personified in a car. For us. Yeah. I mean, he took this thing all over the world, got arrested in England, got arrested in New Zealand. Right. You know, like, he hit some insane number. Like, I think it was like 220 some odd miles an hour. Wow. He really was moving. On the Nardo ring, and he wanted to do like 230 or 240. Jeez. Constant disappointment. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. So, but that car is going to be coming up for auction. Wow. When a Tokyo Auto Salon hits, that's going to be up for auction, along with a bunch of other crazy ass cars, like an R34, you know, like GTR V Spec 2, and like all this insane shit's going to be coming up. But the thing that's in the listing that is the premier car is the top secret V12 Supra. Yes. Badass. So, I yeah, just figured that was worth mentioning. I'm um, curious to see what it goes for. I mean... should be easily a six-figure car, I would think. Just the, the if prominence. I, if I had the money, if I won the lottery when me and Dave made our ill-fated trip up to Idaho and Rhonda... Right. Yep. Oh, God, yeah. I'd just be like, yeah. You know. Yeah, 600K, here you go. Like, hey, <laughs> absolutely. How much do you want? Okay, cool. Yeah. Done. What's the yeah. scent? What's the bid? 125? What's a number that's not going to make you bid anymore, plebeian? Yeah. Plebs. 250? Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I got no problem paying a quarter million dollars for that car cuz that is that it's was such that was such an amazing car. That'll be fun to see what it goes for. Yes, it will be actually. Oh yeah. Um, Cause that's like the first of like our generation of coolness. I think you know, like the, like that was the last of like the crazy, you know, like yeah. handshake agreement, two hundred eighty horsepower cars. So yeah. like, you know, the Skyline, the Supra, the yeah. NSX, yeah. the FD, yep. you know, the three thousand GT, yep, like these crazy uh, the Z thirty two, yep, you know, these crazy ass cars yeah. that. You know, in America, they went away because they ended up costing way the hell too much for what they were. Right. And they didn't really progress. Yep. But, you know, they got replaced with other things. Yep. Like, everybody wanted a, you know, a Mark IV or a, you know, a twin turbo Z32. Yep. And then we got the Evo and the WRX, and suddenly we didn't care about those cars. Right. Right. Yep. Yep. So. It'll, uh, be, it'll be interesting. I'll be watching. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> we will have more. I won't on, be bidding, but I'll be watching. We'll have more on this story as it develops. Yes. Uh, speaking of developing things, so who in this room knows who the hell Alex Zanardi is? Yes. That's Amazing. one. I do. Oh, okay. I, just, I can't get that picture out of my head. Yeah, so Alex Zanardi was an IndyCar driver. Yeah, very successful. IndyCar very driver. an amazing Back IndyCar in the day. Driver. Yeah, not even that long ago. No, it was in the not, 90s, late 90s. That's, yeah, like, that, that, that's back in the day. Oh, okay. That is... I was in high school. school. That's getting ago. to be 20 years ago now. Yeah. Isn't that insane? God. Shit, I'm old. Uh, anyway. Gavin, uh, you're young. Stay young. Yeah, I'm Stay trying. young forever. He's Ooh, also falling he's asleep. Trying. He's yeah. also falling asleep on the floor. Forever young. Yeah. Uh, he anyway, <laughs> uh, he had a horrific wreck. Yeah. Which ended up. Which is the picture I'm referring to. Costing him his legs. Both left yeah, and right. WFT. Yeah, from the knee. Yep. Yep. But you know, because racers never really ever want to let go. Nope. He did coaching and you know all this other stuff. Yeah. But then he developed. He got prosthetics made. And he ended up racing in M3. Yep. You know, kind of yeah. like smaller level stuff, like 25 hours of Thunder Hill level stuff. Yep. You know, big for club stuff, but not, you know, Indy 500, stuff like that. Right. But he's always wanted to get back into that top level pro racing. Yep. You know, Indy was never going to happen. Had no interest in NASCAR. But. Did some sports car racing. Yeah. Quite yeah. a few. Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, he is going to be doing more sports car racing. Yeah. So he's going to be doing the the Daytona 24. Wow. Yes, the 2019. 24 hour. Yes. Yeah. Good for him. That's amazing. That, like, what ah, a hell of a it was, story. Yes, it was, uh, oh, God, 2001 is when uh, oh, yeah, so late the cart crash early happened. Early 2000s. Yes. The cart C-A-R-T, the championship auto racing whatever, not, like, go-kart. But... 
yeah, he's going to be a BMW and one of the new M8s. Oh, okay, wow. You what, mate? Exactly. You what? You what, what? mate? You fucking what? Yeah, what, fucking mate? what, mate? I'm from Grimsby. Yeah, you're having a little giggle there, mate. Are you having a laugh? Yeah, so... It's a bit of a laugh. Yeah, so here's the problem. Like, like he has to spend the entire 2018 season. He's going to be helping BMW develop the M8. Specifically, you know, the braking system. Because he's like Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. He got no legs, but, Lieutenant but Dan. But Lieutenant Dan ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he spent five seasons in the World Touring Car. You know, he drove a Z4 GT3. He's you know he's tested Formula One and DTM cars, and yeah. he's done the 24 hours of Spa. But you know, like it's you know, yeah, like this is a legit point scoring. You know, yeah, 24 hours of Spa is it's kind of its own little one off thing. Yeah, this is an actual like this is the this is the opening of the IMSA season. It's like one of the big three too. You know, for the for the season. Yeah. In terms of races, this Sebring and uh, Petit Le Mans. Yeah, Petit Le Mans. Yeah, I believe we I did. I think yeah. we did. I think we polished it today. I mean, wow. if we really want to, I can go downstairs. We have, have the full fam. I, I got, notice how calm I have several we are. bags of <laughs> chips that I can go get. Anyway, so well, that's go, that's going to be amazing. I wonder who's is going to be on his team though, because obviously he can't run the full twenty four hours by himself. No, I mean IMSA has rules about that. Yeah, I think it's a two hour or three hour stint per driver, which max. is going to be interesting considering that there's going to have to be gear driver in there. change. Yeah, yeah, for him to be able to drive. Yeah, what? Yeah. what's the driver change going to look like? Exactly, like, like that's going to be very. Kudos to BMW though for taking that on because that's, that's obviously going to add some time yeah. on the pits in the pits, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I think what they're going to do is they're going to I think that M8 yeah is going to be their third entry. Oh, I see. So, like Actually. they're going to have their two like everybody else, like, you know, there's two Corvettes, yeah. two, you know, Fords, four Ford GTs <laughs> maybe. Well, after 2018, we don't know. Yeah, well they did it they did it, you know. Then. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. We don't know what the Ford GT program is going to look like after 2018. Right. So. Well, we didn't even know there was going to be a Ford GT program two years ago, you know. So no. That's, fun that's fact, fair. the Ford GT program was actually supposed to be like some world beater Mustang. But yeah. Oh, really? The SBT yeah. guys were just like, F that. Let's build a GT. Well, no. The Ford higher-ups were just like, oh. No, nobody's going to buy that kind. Of, like, we have to make a streetcar variant of this, and nobody's going to spend that much on a Mustang. No. So they shelved the project, and then a lot of the engineers who were working on that program were like, "But we still want to build a race car." I mean, they stole Acura's thunder because they, you know, the, when the Acura finally debuted the final NSX, is yeah, when Ford dropped that. the GT, and no one knew well, the GT I was coming. They were doing testing during PwC <clears throat> last year here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, although I will say they are two completely like the NSX and its race program is completely different from the. GT and its race program. Right. The GT, like the original GT40, was meant to be a race car, and the you know street variants yeah. only exist because they have to. Yeah, homologation rules. Yeah, yeah. right. Like the NSX, it was meant to be a street car, and the then fact they're that they're like, taking it GT3, like they have a GT3 spec version of it, is because well, why not? Yeah, they also understand that. Yeah, there's actually a big market for people wanting to race GT3 cars, so. Yep. And it's good advertising, it's good marketing. I mean, yeah. race on Sunday, buy on Monday. It exactly. still works at that, uh, that level, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, like, you're so, never... Talk about great marketing. Friggin' Budweiser commercial from 86. Damn. <laughs> Getting ridiculous. Not available in all provinces. Well, God damn it! It's the Frenchies that don't like it. Are Fuck. they dry? Are they, are they dry? I have no thing? idea. Oh, no, okay. who knows? Sharp. Are you kidding me? Frenchies are all wet. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Ooh, but, giggity. Giggity. Yeah, so giggity. after, like, Ford's official involvement ends... There probably will not be a customer for GT program. Oh, that so, sucks. So after this year, you may very well never see the Ford GT in competition again, outside of historic races in a few years. That sucks. Yep. Aww. Come on, Ford. But it's okay. We might see a mid-engine Corvette show up. Boo. Yeah, whatever. Or mid-engine Cadillac. Yeah. Or mid-engine Buick. Buick's still around. Yeah, they're <laughs> I did look up Regal. <laughs> How are <laughs> they still around? I, I, they don't even make those anymore. I kid you not, I looked up Regal GSs on, online. I, That's a good car. 
It's, it's a freaking. Not bad. It's an Opal slash Vauxhall. You yeah. Know? It's as Euro as you're gonna get. Have you it's seen a, those cross, those tiny little crossovers that they have? They're no, hilarious. They're disgusting. Looking. I hate oh, the commercials though because they're God. trying to appeal to our generation. It's like oh, and they're doing a this really a weird job. Yeah. yeah. Well, you watch Chevy trying to appeal to my generation. Yeah, yeah. With the real people. Oh yeah, I love the <laughs> they're real, real millennials. I love the Boston version of that. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's half a Sonic. Uh, real people, not actors. Well, at least not yet. Yeah, they have. <laughs> They haven't gotten their SAG cards yet. Yes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's exactly what they're doing. They're putting out like a casting call. So these oh, are yeah. people. Yeah, they're, they are. they're they're actors. Yeah. yeah, they're I mean, they're actors, but they're they haven't. Acting. Af- they're not actors. Exactly. Yeah. They haven't officially been recognized as actors yeah. yet. So. Yeah. Oh, semantics. Uh, but they are reading lines. But I do love that. Well, real, real people. No, they've guy. taken a few groundlings classes. And they're them? just improving the shit yeah. out of it. The Boston, the Boston gay. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what the shit is this? It's, you say it's thirty six starting, but down here in the fine print it says fifty two k. Why would I? Why would I pay that? Why would I pay fifty two grand for this piece of shit? Yeah. I love oh, it. Boston. Mm. Oh shit! There are three laps to go in this race, and they're tight. They're wow. Knows to tell. Where has the time gone? Got the Goodrich Chevy mid engine, whatever that is, Corvette. Who I don't knows? Know what that is. Prototype. Whatever. Anyways. So, all right. Well, we have two more things on the agenda. Yeah. Uh, real quick, who here has watched the Grand Tour? Yes. This season? Yes. I have not. I've seen yet. both episodes. Yes. No, they're fucking amazing. I don't yes. have Amazon Prime. Well, I mean, we kind of watched... We kind of watched I, the I first one. parts of the first episode. Speaking of the 4GT. Yeah. Yes. Number so, two. Season or episode number two. Yeah. yeah. So uh, see, episode one is uh, they go to Switzerland for that hill climb. That's where uh, Richard harms himself in the yeah. Rimac. Sends it. And they don't really explain how he got yeah. into, well, put into that position. Well, it's much like Crack not explaining why they had to purge a bunch of well, writers brakes, and video people. So the brakes fail you know. or something along those lines? I can't uh, remember it reading. It had to be a brake failure. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a brake because it was after the finish line that he yeah. went off the yeah. track. Anyways. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be one of those things. Like, if you really want to get into it, you're going to have to do a bit of research. Yep. Uh, anyway. The Illuminati's going to come knocking on my doorstep. Uh, <sighs> burn all your dollar bills, people. Yes. The eyes watching you. <laughs> the pyramid. Yep. Uh, anyway, uh, second episode... Uh, it is the Ford GT versus a combination of transit, yeah. public transport, basically. Yeah, yeah. planes, trains, trains and, and not buses. automobiles, not automobiles, but and buses. buses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going from uh, Central Park in New York to Niagara, Buffalo, yeah, Niagara, Niagara Falls, Falls. Or, yeah, Niagara yeah. Falls, yeah, yeah. And the great thing is, so Jeremy is in the GT, yeah, and James. Is taking public transport and all that stuff, along with Sir Richard Hammond, yeah, who is still Hammond injured. Yeah, Captain Handy Capable. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yep, Captain Capable. Yeah, with his uh, crutches and wheelchairs. It was. It was a. Gr- I loved the episode. I thought it was great. It, it felt so much like the old top. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's what. The, it made my soul so happy. Yeah. That's, that's, what that's the, what's making me happy. Yeah. Uh, went to dinner uh, last night with. My girlfriend and some of our friends that we used to do pub trivia with. Oh, cool! Shout out to everybody who does pub trivia because hey. that's always a good goddamn it, time. It's, it's yeah. a good time. Good time. Um, it's good fun. Yeah. Um, one of our friends, uh, Megan, who is a school teacher, she's telling me that she's been watching the Grand Tour. She's been watching since episode. She started watching episode one a little bit ago. Nice. With her dad, who has like a first gen Firebird that he's restoring. Sick. Some cool old school shit. Like he. Hell Apparently, yeah. her dad was into all sorts of like sketchy shenanigans that we would just, you know, love. Be all ha- about. We have to frown upon as an organization, but individually, we're all about. Yes. Word. You know? I'm awesome. in. Yeah. But, yeah, so uh, she hasn't got it to season two yet, but, you know, she's enjoying it. But I told her it feels a lot like season two of Grand Tour feels like what would, what Top Gear would be. If Jeremy didn't punch that guy in the face, yes. and the yeah. other two didn't yes. rage, what quit. it feels like? Yes. It's exactly like they're well, they, picking up where so they left off. Basically, they are back into their element. Finally. Yes, yes, because they listen to us, the viewers. Yes, like the the, yeah. the celebrity brain crash thing that they did in yeah. season one was total shit. We all hated it. We all said that we hated it. They got rid of it. Honestly, I feel like it was yeah. filler. And they got rid of the fat, horrible driving American. Like yes. Mike Skinner is a piece of shit driver. I don't know if if you go back and watch season yeah. one, his lines, holy lord, like he is missing the apex by miles. To, to be fair, I almost feel like he was instructed to do that because mm. outside of 
the Grand Tour, he he was a great driver. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was yeah. mainly a truck racer, you know, NASCAR truck which, series. Which is but, fine. Yeah. You know. But which I, mean, they, he did, I um, think he was a far better person outside of the Grand Tour than his role in the Grand Tour but would I, have portrayed I, him as. I agree with you that they told him, they typecasted him to be a specific character which within is sad. their set. Which yeah. is why I think he was happy to have been yeah. relieved of but that. But it didn't portray really who we are as Americans. Yeah, we no. kind of joke like that, but then it got annoying. And it's yeah. like, really? Come on. Yeah. It got real old real fast. Yeah. And they kept on beating that dead horse. Yeah. So, but in this epi- second episode, they introduced their new... But they didn't introduce her. No, they didn't. They showed her, but they didn't say her name or anything uh, about her. So, for those curious, uh, her name is Abby Eden. Abby Eden. She is a 25-year-old professional racing driver from England. England. Okay. She's raced in the Sax Max Championship, the Production Touring Car Championship, where she was a Class B Championship, and she's also driven in the MX-5 Super Cup and was oh, the champion, sh- that's a champion in that. Uh, she's also made appearances in uh, British GT and the Blanc Pond, Blanc Pond Endurance Series. Awesome. Where she was the first woman to finish first in her class. That's awesome. Yes. And in her okay. first episode, she drove the AMG GTR. Yep. I think, was she that did. the car? And she yeah. drove it. Like, Apex was beautiful. Lines were Very great. Nice. Very anti Mike Skinner. <laughs> yeah, that was. I give really... it a shit, but if you go back and look, you, I'm 100% correct. I mean, yeah, it was. Really weird, but yeah. I, it, but I just thought it was weird they didn't say her name or introduce her. They said we've got a driver; she's really wonderful. We're lucky to have her, and that's all they said. Yeah, they didn't bother like mentioning anything about her because those are some pretty goddamn good credits. Yeah, some good series. They're you some know, good experience. Ma- maybe it's supposed to be like Stigish. The, the Stig lore. Yeah, but the but, problem is, but she, we have a face. Yeah, and, and a, name. a voice, mm-hmm. and she's even mentioned in the credits by name. Yeah, driver. Abby Eaton, who says it right there in the credits. Yeah, yeah like the stake was always the, the stake. Stig. Right. Fair. Until they fired Ben Collins, and ben then, you Collins. know, we knew who he was. As right. He was writing his book. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I also think that they probably couldn't get away with something like that either, because that would be a little bit too close. That's copyright infringement on the BBC. Oh, for sure. Right. For and the sure. BBC would yeah. back down from even somebody like Amazon. Yeah. They're yeah. already losing assholes worth of money because they let... You know, they let these three guys walk. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. But so they're not going to take any chances. They're going to lawyer up and they're going to try and get every dime they can't get. Oh, well, and they're they're government backed too, so they're not yeah. they're not, they're not their coffers aren't empty. Let's be honest. No, so they are. Yeah, that's know. fair. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're pretty big themselves. But yeah, well, hopefully on season three we get uh, an introduction to her. Yep. Or episode three. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 That. Which which will have hit Friday. Yeah. Of last week. Yeah. So by the time you hear this, uh, episode three will be out. Unfortunately, we're doing some sort of weird time wizardy thing. Yes. You know, where we are from the past, but in the future. What day is it? <laughs> who's president? Oh, Tell my. me who's president in 1985, future boy. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. The actor? <laughs> the actor? <laughs> Donald Trump. The pedophile? Oh. 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 Hey, hey. Uh, It'll come out, I'm sure. Hey guys, is that is Donald that, a, oh, is, that a, actor? is that an airplane flying down towards the ground in the distance? Oh, that just exploded. Uh, ooh, yeah. Well, just anyway. Herman over here sipping his tea, <laughs> just 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 taking it down. <sighs> but her emails, anyways. <laughs> Benghazi and yeah, so forth and whatnot. Anyway, the Russians. Um, well, we do have a question, at least for the room. Hey. Hey. Yes. Um, what car would you turn into a race car and why? And then, what series would you run it in? Mm. Who's that from? That would be from yours truly. Good choice, Dave. Yeah. The professor. I'd like to extend this to the to the listeners as well. Yeah. So uh, have this as one of the handful of questions that we've asked so far in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, for the new year. Yeah, so we want to hear two responses. Uh, your vacation destination, what you're going to do in this, in said country. Mm-hmm. That isn't touristy. Exactly. You know, yeah, that's not the norm. Yeah, not the traditional tourist. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then... And then we want to know what kind of car you'd build as a race car, and why, and what you'd race it in. Yeah. yeah. Dig it. I like it. I I think I've got an idea. Okay. Hit me with Is it. Is there a... For tourist, tourist challenge. Tourist dream. challenge. Dream. Fuck! Oh. oh, almost spilled. Oh. <laughs> From here. Hit the elbow into the. Mm. 
I like how Gavin had to get up off the floor and wake up, chug that. wake up from his slumber. Yeah. To be fair, Gabe, apparently Gavin got pretty tore up last night. Yeah, he got lit. I yeah, we got pretty crunk. Yeah, well, Mama didn't raise no baby back yeah. bitch. So I don't know. Sad boy, <laughs> snuggle up. I obviously don't know the correct terminology to use in that one. So lit, I'm assuming, is more marijuana ishy. It used to be that way. Oh, okay, good. It actually lit that, that, is that's definitely more to be got, faded. The, there yeah. we go. I see. See, the See now anything can be lit. Like we're teaching dude, old people. That S two thousand was lit. lit. Yeah. Bro, see, that's the great thing so about American language. Yeah. yeah, English is constantly changing and evolving. Yeah. to fit Getting how we do worse. it. I and, mean, it's yeah, constantly and, and, changing yeah. and devolving and degrading. Yeah. You know. Yes, we're just soon we'll be. Ooh, ah, ooh. Anyways, yes. Okay. Anyway, okay. Who's gonna start? Uh, you said you had. An oh, idea. I, okay. You. Okay. So I'll start. Um, just off the top of my head, I thought this would be cool, but you would obviously need to change the rules of the series I would race it in to kind of make it fit. But I would take an off Alfa Romeo Julia Quattrofolio. Oh, four turn, cheese. Four cheese. Four cheese. Four cheese. Take the four cheese, turn it into a race car, but then obviously change the series rules of the BTCC. Oh. And take it across the pond and race it in the BTCC like series okay. yeah, you have to change in a the lot four to door the sedan but like the, you know they used to have like the Ford Contours and they they had the Volvo wagons back in the yes, day which did. were higher yeah. power and bigger cars um, or Ford Mondeos over there not Contours there I'm sorry. yeah but yeah the Mondeo SD23 yeah. but like if they had an unlimited class right if they had an unlimited series imagine that well, would, would you take, leave it stock drive train Oh yeah, yeah. Well, okay. you'd have to. Well, yeah, it has yeah. to be stock. But just open exhaust, like they do, stock drivetrain. But obviously, race trains. Imagine mission. that two point nine V six, just like Screaming. straight out. Yeah, with n- nothing but blow off valves and turbos yeah. everywhere, yeah. just yeah. insanity and That's pops nuts. and cracks everywhere. But then slam to the ground, and then I would do DTM exhaust, like the old Alpha One One Two Six or One Two Four, the One Five Five Q Four, One Five Five Q Four. Yeah, the they red had one, the, the yeah. four upturns back in the old DTM yeah. days, oh, and I would know. do that kind of as an homage to yes. the old Alphas and make it I badass. Like that, and like the ground effect. All too. right, you win. All right, Jeez. that is so that. Good. That's what came to my mind immediately <laughs> right. as you said that. All right, wow, okay. But I would do the BTCC because I like the tracks that they race on. They have a really good... And that's just a fun series to watch. The racing is so close. Always. It's good racing. That's right. great. Nice. That is great. Very nice. Um, Gavin. I had a thought today, and I thought it would be really funny to do like road course racing in my Outback. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually build it. Like, oh yeah! Actually, so, make it a built race car. I think that'd be hilarious. And everything. So you say that, but when GT Live came through uh, Miller, yeah, in like oh five and oh six, Tarzan Yamada, Tarzan and Subaru had a legacy GT wagon. Yeah, yeah, race car. So it yeah. was your body style, just not an Outback. Yeah, race so. car lower. Yeah, so and it, I actually everything. got to ride along. Really, I got a ride nice. in that car. Zen, in that Hell car. yeah, I and actually stripped out. And I I learned a lot. Yeah, that was it yeah. was a massive cage. Wow. very well prepped car. He's a he's an accomplished. He's a oh, very yeah. good driver. He's a D one drifter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a done. very yeah. good driver. Yeah. yeah. Isn't he in the four door Skyline normally? Or? No. No. What was he in? Uh, he bounced around to a few different chassis. He had so. quite a few different cars. Oh, okay, but he was. I know who you're talking about. But no, very he's accomplished. A, he's a damn good driver. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, good choice, yeah, Gavin. No, that that was that's nice. a good thought. I yeah, like where thanks. your head's at. Yeah, budget it's friendly, kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah. How um, about you, fearless leader? So I have several dumb, terrible ideas that have run through my mind. Mm. Um, I would like to be the biggest fish in the tiniest pond that is NASA, Utah, and I would like to get a. V8, an Australian V8 supercar. Yes. Yes, please. Pull the restrictors. Of course, yes, it's please. a Holden. You got to have a Holden. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Have have what, what do those make without the restrictors? Like I mean, 900? Yeah, like 900. They're up there. Fuck. They're up there. We're not, we're not Ford Falcon fans here. We're holding Commodores. I would say no to a Ford Falcon. I will show up in the Pepsi Max Crew Falcon. Uh, I don't yes. give a fuck. Well, yes. <laughs> Dave, of course, would show up in the Volvo. Well. Of course. I, I, yeah, it's either. Yeah. It's a toss up for me because I love Holdens. You do. Oh yeah, I love you me. Do. Some I do too. Um, I do too. It would be really hard for me to choose the the S sixty or the Holden or the Holden. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that is an option that has crossed my mind. Good choice. But that's an already built car, and I am literally just unbolting a small part of it. Right. Still counts. And making though. it faster. Yeah. 
arguably I'm making it worse. <laughs> Just take like a You're week to do it. You're making it more powerful. That's not necessarily faster. I yeah. mean, I'm going to have to like redesign it so I can put more tire under this thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because Which is fine. Yeah, just because those tubs, camber, custom tubs. Yeah. While they are slicks, those are relatively tiny slicks. Pretty narrow. And yeah. I will blow them off. Yeah, <laughs> real quick. I think they do do run I, like a. Or can you like do a Formula D event or like a local drift event? Oh yeah, that's another option oh, too. That'd be just sick. add more angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stiffen everything up and call it good. Where's? Your... So is that your hydro? No, that's a uh, gear shift. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, throttle. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kids. <laughs> Peasants. Plebs. Plebs. Yeah. Plebs. Plebeians. Um, another thought that has been occupying my mind is I would love to build. I had, I actually had it like planned out on paper what it would take to get Ronda as a reasonably competitive TT3 car. Nice. Oh, yeah. That would be dope. Very cool. Yeah. That would be dope. But then, you know, that's... That's actually a lot of work that would make have to yeah. go into making that a competitive TT3 car, which right. at the time I was plotting that out was like the lowest of the power to weight based TT classes. Right. So, so you'd have been five X into the value of the car easily. Well, I mean, a lot of the wheels I was looking at were at least twice the value of that car, yeah. but that's neither here nor there. Probably some Volks. Um, no old school works. Oh. Yeah. Some motions. 17s, baby. Beauty. Equip, yeah. Equip yeah. O1s, those five spokes. Yes. Yeah. Fuck Fucking yeah. Forged. Gavin is just not paying attention to our... <laughs> he's watching a Chevy celebrity commercial. With 9.9 or 10.9% interest financing. Holy Buff. crap. Basically, we live in such a wonderful air age. Air conditioning at no extra cost. <laughs> Oh, God. The 80s were terrible. Damn, wow. The general is looking out for you. Yeah, he was. Fuck. The 80s were a nightmare. Jesus. Interest on everything. Insanity. There's Bob Varsha. Uh, <laughs> Look at that hair. The 80s were awesome. No, they weren't. Are you fucking kidding me? Talk to anybody who lived through them. Yeah. The houses were the law of triples where you actually end up spending three times the value of the house. Yeah. Financing. Now we're in the law of doubles because of the crash of 2008. Go ahead and watch Ghostbusters when uh, Ray has to get... Uh, take out another mortgage on the house that he was born in. Yeah. Listen to those interest rates that he is, yeah. you know. They're in the oh, teens God. and 20s. It's like 18% interest or something yeah. like that. Oh. Yeah. And we're and, complaining about four. Yeah. And Egon you know, like, tells him how long it would take to pay off that yeah. house. The amortization. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. It's like 30 years or something. Or no, like 100 years or something yeah. insane like that. To say yeah. 30 is normal. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. No. It's like it's insanity. Yeah. We live in a good age. Yes. But, no, if I'm going to build a car and go racing, I mean, door-to-door sounds fun, but I'd rather go, like, do time attack stuff. Sure. Yeah. You know, where it's a little bit more open, a little bit more loose. Yeah. And driver-centric. And, yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Wow. And while I'd love to build something, you know, tried and true, like an R35 or an Evo or a Subaru, mm-hmm. no, I'd check it old school build me a b-series powered honda oh yeah Love it. there we go that's yeah. harking back to our heritage yeah. damn right get Just... some lift off oversteer there <laughs> yeah. yeah like i mean really all those people in a miata calling it a momentum car it's like i will show you momentum no the yeah. original dc2r <laughs> was a momentum car while lifting the right the inside rear well let's put it like this like you Rigid. know a miata will show you how to like drive a car yeah but Something like a front wheel drive performance car will teach you how to like move the car and actually properly drive that car. Yes. Like you cut your teeth at a Miata. Well, like, here's the thing a Miata will teach you how to drive. Miatas are way more forgiving. A, a DC2R yeah. Integra will teach you how to be driven. Yes. Yeah, ooh. Like you cut. Yeah. Like there's. <laughs> Deep. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking love it, but true though. Yeah. Well said. It is though. It, I, I, that probably hands down my most favorite front wheel drive car has to be my DC4. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great car. Love that car. I love. That I love that car. Absolutely. Yeah. Is that the yeah, circle I'll, headlights? I'll drink to that. There we go. Is that the circle headlights? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. the portholes. Yeah. I love those. Mine were the uh, inside headlights were replaced with uh, orange bulbs. Which speaking of, did yeah. you guys see on oh, yeah. Bring a Trailer? I think it was a DC4 Type R, right? Do they do an Integra DC4? Uh, you either had DC2 or. Or if you somehow headlights. found a... Yeah. Little tiny ones? Or if you had a four-door, it was a DB8. It was a oh, DB8. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, 30 grand. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah they're they coming into their own. Yep. Up. They're coming into I mean, their own. 
the R's have been 10K plus for, and like, now they're really starting to take off. Yeah, 30 got grand. A few, Mike and I have a few buddies that are sitting on good stock of these right. cars. But this yeah. one was perfectly OEM, yeah. but right. had like 40,000 miles, something ridiculously oh, yeah. low. Yeah. Well, like, You'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, even like... Uh, I'd rather have a new Type R. Yeah, me too. Well, that no, money. actually, no. I would take the. Wait, older you one. mean that a new that new Accord Sport Wagon for thirty five grand? Are you kidding me? Yeah, but it's the size of an Accord. But Gavin, purity but... and driving experience and so <laughs> forth. <laughs> shit, drink. and drink and other horse shit, shit that drink. people throw at you to get you to pay forty grand for. Here's the, the deal: it's everything you believe, year old car. everything you believe in, <laughs> is the DC two. Here's the thing, Gavin. What would you pay thirty five thousand dollars for a new Type R, or would you pay forty thousand for a Focus RS? Ooh. I'd rather, in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, I'd rather blow torch my nipples off. Okay, so you'd buy the Focus. Yes, we can got make it. that happen. Yeah, we got the, the blue. Uh, I would. We can make that happen. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I called your bluff, and I was correct. We have the we have the tools. <laughs> no blowtorch required. I already know where you stand. I'd rather get a fucking Golf R. Ooh, yeah, you're talking. Mm. Comfort, luxury, style, performance, everything. ESG. Yes. Tunability. Oh, my God. Yeah, bolt-ons. It's not going to blow its head like every Focus RS will. <laughs> hey, now. And has. I mean, to be fair, it's hit, it's been hit and miss. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's on the ups. For a small batch of the 2016 Yeah, the first cars. runs yeah. are yeah. Right. where it's... A, yeah. Which is right. why you never buy a first year of a new car. Oh, well, well it's, it was the, it's the same deal as the old, the old 7M Supras. Right. They had the revised torque specs because they were yep. abnormally low. I mean, anybody who had built ever built a motor could have looked at the original torque specs on like, a 7M turbo and been like, that's, yeah, not, that's not right. right. It's had a couple more clicks here. Exactly. Yeah, it was one of those just like, and then I go back around and do it again. You, right? I'm going right. to go, <laughs> go a half turn after the, this one. These yeah. are the pre-tightened yeah. numbers, right? No, we're, it's not like we're trying to you know tighten a Toyota lug nut. Right. I mean, no. you know, 78 foot-pounds is what they call for it. If you go 79 and a quarter, you snap the fucking bolt off. Like, oh, no, wow. that's not where we're at. Good no. Yeah. Uh, we're currently blowing Gavin's mind with early 90s ESPN Speed World yeah, graphics. Yeah. Fucking legit. Like, he Nissan. is melting right now. <laughs> Mid-Ohio. <laughs> Imson Nissan Grand Prix of Ohio at Mid Ohio Lexington, and you got Budweiser and Camel and prominent signage across the Red Bob Marsha, oh, David Hobbs. Oh yeah. my gosh, Shit. I love it! Oh, wow, the young David Hobbs, young, and young David Bob Marsha. Wow, this is before his eyes went full cataracts. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shots fired! Yeah, Zing. But before he couldn't see anything, including the teleprompter. His hair is still Jesus. dark. Jesus Christ! Just it's true. The watch the. Well, you can't anymore because they're Why? not going to be on. It's ESPN who has. Why you got to take him out like that? Hey, just whatever. Out of nowhere, yeah, I'm salty today. Yeah, right at the knees. A little salt. Jesus. Just <laughs> swerving. Just you know, I'm just dropping a little of this. A little salt. Just a little. Just going. Is this out? still a thing or is that dead now? Salt, salt bay. bay. No. Yeah, salt that, gone. That's a thing. It's, a thing. it's, it's dead just, now. I think. Just like, dropping some of this. You didn't even just swerve to the next lane. Like you cut across the goddamn freeway to take poor David well, Hobbs out. Gonna keep doing this until you accept. Obviously, it. Pizza Dad doesn't have that little voice inside his head that says, "Uh uh uh." <laughs> what and you, you do don't know Dave? the passing, not the passing, the magic word. <laughs> Turning the car into oncoming traffic uh, yeah. is counterproductive. PJ Jones. PJ Jones and that fucking <laughs> hair. Good That's lord. Sweet. No, I love I love David uh, Hobbs. The Kentucky waterfall, you, baby. Fuck. I love How David you Hobbs. doing. But if you watch like any of the last years, the last season's broadcast, his pupils, I kid you not, are like huge, They're like size of quarters. Well, Something's going on. I love you. him though. I that hope they like yeah. rolling fucking balls. Oh yeah, he's probably sh- that three just sheets made... to the wind, and oh, by the yeah. time they brought three like, sheets oh, of what yeah. acid? Yeah, something. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> totally focused right now. Anyways, zero to hundred real quick. Now, I don't know who we're gonna get next year because it's ESPN. Yeah, it's mm. going to be very different. Yeah, Will Buxton's obviously trying for it. I mean, would be good. I'm, I mean, I'm kind of glad to see ESPN wanting to be the uh, leader in uh, well, motorsport stuff. It was Liberty Media that really facilitated that. They were pissed off that uh, NBC Sports only paid $3 million for the rights. Yeah. Only three. Only three. Which, if you think about it, it's actually pretty cheap. That is insanely cheap. Yeah. But, I mean, it's for something that nobody necessarily cared about. Yeah. Well, it, it's got its fan base. I just want to point out that this dude on his racing suit has a CompTech patch. Nice. Oh, wow. wow. Parker Johnstone. Fastest lights qualifier, 102.515 Comtech miles machine. In the Why Acura-powered Spice. There's a freaking uh, killer whale walking around on the grid. 
It was the early 90s in motorsport. Tobacco so, money was leaving. So SeaWorld came in. So the, Orcas came in to save the day? SeaWorld's like, hey, watch Shit racing. just got weird, man. Sea whales. Look at those pink hats. Yeah, what, what the, the fuck? Now he's rubbing his what on the car? Oh, there's, there's a fin. bear. Hold on. What the hell else is going on in the yeah, background? <laughs> Dave, <laughs> we'll get to your choice in a minute. So we need to then, figure out what's to, going on. They used to combine furry conventions with races. Oh <laughs> I actually really want to know what's going on right now, too. ESPN yeah. Speed World, sponsored by Vice Crash! Woo! And Brando! It's got electrolytes! It's got what plants crave. <laughs> Damn it. I love seeing the advertisements. Like, are these Too companies real, still Mike. around today? Too Most of these real. companies are still here. <laughs> Vice Miller is giving you a preview right of 2018, the baby. God. Oh, buddy. Uh, uh, oh, buddy. Just remember, 2018, go out there and vote. Danka, Konica, Minolta. Konica's gone. Come on. Dude. No, it's dead. Konica, Minolta. No, they were still around. They they're were sponsoring the... Are uh, they still around? They were sponsoring the Wayne Taylor uh, uh, Corvette yeah, DPI. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And they're Minolta, but Konica, they dropped the Konica name like a couple years ago. Well, I mean, that's like saying, like... Donka? What is that? Is that a German drink for thank you? I don't know. Donka. <laughs> You're asking Maybe. a lot of questions, Many man. thanks. Many thanks for drinking our drink of drinks. Whatever look, it is. Look, man. Look. Look, man. Look, man. Dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying... Dude. I'm... Dude. I'm just asking questions, okay? Dude. Like... Dude. God, it's like freshman year in high school. Dude, it's freshman like... Freshman year in college all over again. None of us like, really know right dude, now bro. Like, what's going on, dude. So, dude that's what like, I love about you guys. You're just... You're man. so ah. fresh and fresh. We should really just, like... I don't know, Anybody like, know that reference? Out, dude. No. Okay. We should just, like, totally... We should, like, lay back and just chill. That's what's so crescent. have a beverage. That's, that's what's... And, cr- and just chillax. It's, it's crescent. It's crescent fresh. Yeah. Dude, it's crescent. That's so. Tuber. What is happening right now? That's what's so. Crescent. I don't know, but I need Dave Bro. to answer the goddamn. I'm question. quoting. I'm, <laughs> shit. I don't okay. know. I don't oh, know. Oh wait, he's... real quick. I never said. Oh, it's my own question. I'm gonna oh, yeah. run it in Global Time Attack. My, Damn. My B series. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the hell it is. So wings, all the things. I mean, God, that was a tangent. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We, we. Thanks for bringing it back full circle there. Okay. Dude. Good lord. Uh, this. Is, if you want to hear a real proper tangent, go listen to All Fantasy Everything. The the episode where they draft a sandwich. Okay. Oh, that has to this. be hands down the greatest episode I have ever heard. They like, will I get, subscribe to that now because of you. Is they will a- get you will get to the end where they are trying to describe how much apple butter they're trying to put on one of the sandwiches on David Borey's sandwich, the <laughs> Ellen Cleghorn. Wow. And my God, the tangent that goes on about Clarence the horse and apple butter. Just that it whole was probably thing. A good ten minutes. It was just yeah. just tangent, <laughs> and it just ends with yeah, about that much apple butter. Just huh. this insanely well crafted story. It took me on such an emotional roller coaster. Sounds like a trip. It's it really what like if I was high, I would have yeah. like been crying. It yeah. is amazing, but wow. yeah, go listen to that episode of All Fantasy Everything where they draft a sandwich. Not they're not drafting sandwiches. It's the one with the uh, you know the one with uh, Amir and whoever else from Headgum. No, it's the one with Ian Carmel and David Borey and Sean Jordan, Sean Cougar Mellon Jordan, and they draft sandwiches. Or they draft a sandwich. Like they, they create a lineup. Like yeah, they pick. Oh, they create an all star cast of ingredients. They pick a bread. They pick a meat. They pick a cheese. They pick a condiment. They pick a wild card. And they get nuts. It is like there was it sounds interesting. It was good. The three sandwiches it's worth the listen. The three sandwiches that are drafted are the South Dakota wedding burger, the bar mitzvah. <laughs> Love it. And, and the Ellen, Ellen Cleghorn. The Ellen Cleghorn. <laughs> I love Ellen. She's still, you know, she's still got it. She, uh, My God. God, yeah. No, the South Dakota wedding burger was just hilarious. That's just the kind of white trash that I know I'm going to run into at some point when I go visit my family. Having been in South Dakota before, it makes perfect sense to me. When I told my mom that Chislick was a thing that was drafted, she's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what that is. <laughs> yup. <laughs> She she knows what the sad white plates with crackers on it are at the uh, bowling alley. Oh dear, sweet Jesus! Okay, Dave, answer your question. Yeah, shit, yeah, because this is your my own, question. Your own question. Actually, uh, I've actually got two answers for this. 
Okay. Or uh, you can have one answer for this. But I'm going to have Ooh. two. Well, since you're going to have two, I've got one that I want to do. So okay. you give me that one. You, well, I'm, gonna, to I'm just going to go ahead and blast my two then. Uh, give me a Porsche 935. Nice. Ooh. I'll make a Moby Dick clone. Yes. Nice. And I would like to race in vintage recreation of the Le Mans series. Ooh, nice. nice. Down. Vintage Le Mans. Hell yeah. Yes. They Down. really raced that shit. Yeah. Oh, Love God, it. yeah. Moby Dick was a hell of a car. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dominate. So there's that. Love it. Otherwise, modern day, uh-huh. I would take the all-wheel drive twin turbo V6 Kia Stinger GT. Awesome. Yeah. Build it into a Pike Speed car. Nice. Ooh. Oh, Did you yeah. see the video of them turning that into a race car? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I have not. No. It's yeah, yeah. There's a, a in in Korea. Yeah. Nice. They're actually it's doing a, testing. It's a and touring car. Working on building them into touring cars. Yeah. Super right. cool. Very cool. cool. I'll have to show you. Yeah. Nice. But those, those are my two choices. Good choice. Stinger GT, all-wheel drive. Yeah. Pike Speed uh, car. Built to the tits. Hill climb. As a Pike Speed hill climb car. Hill climb. Woo! Or it. a 935 Moby Dick for vintage Nice. Lamar. Dig it. Yeah. So. Down. Yeah. So yeah. I, I see a theme in yours. All very driver-oriented. Well, duh. You're either going to fall off a mountain or you're going to crash into a $30 million Ferrari. Duh. Brilliant. Beautiful. <laughs> Brilliant. Duh. Doesn't matter. I'm going to do it. Brilliant. Love it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so <laughs> my number two. Number two. Number yeah. two. Ooh, everybody's going to have a number, number two. Number two. So. Number nine. Um, number one. Number nine. Engage. Number nine. So. <laughs> He's getting so pissed. I, no, I'm not getting pissed. Oh, okay. Um, Yet. Um. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. What I would like to do. And I know there's no way I could get any sort of factory support for it, so I'd have to do it all on my own. Privateer. Uh-huh. Privateer. Privateer. God damn it. Don't want to be. Don't want to be. All by myself. Good. What did we just do? I don't know. We Harmonized. Sang. I don't know. That was, I was way off. I was super flat. I, I don't even, yeah. And I came in late on the B flat. Wow. I'm sorry. Harmonizing. Okay, wow. go. Harmonizing is what we did. Um. <laughs> no, I would like to do what nobody has seemingly been able to do for the better part of a decade oh. in Formula Drift oh. and build a competitive Camaro. Oh, shit. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> Listen, shots right. fired. Dodge had a factory program for a with little the, bit with Samuel Hubinet yeah, and the Viper and, the Viper and then yeah. the Challenger. Charger and the Challenger. Challenger. Charger. 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 It was a four door. Oh yeah, they had a charger. Had the charger. For a yeah. For like a year. Had the charger. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then Thank you know, Ford pre Hellcat. Yeah. 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 SRT yeah. with the four twenty horsepower, six point yeah. two liter Hemi. Yeah. And I then watched. Ford's backing. You know, like Vaughn the RTR cars. Yeah. yeah the RTR yeah. car. Yeah. yeah. Vaughn, yeah. Chelsea, Vaughn. and the uh, Falcon. Yeah. The Falcon car. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. JTP. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, I would just like to build a competitive. Camaro. God, yeah, because who was the last person to run a Camaro? Michael Essa, and it was terrible oh, because no. SLP was supposed to help them out, but they uh, never did. did. So he was essentially running in a stock power stock. fifth gen Camaro oh, with some angle God. mods oh, that weren't even really that great. No. Wah, wah, wah. Which is why he's back in a BMW. I'm trying to remember who else sponsored. There was a, it was Blue 808 and somebody else. I think it was a Honkook car. Uh, Might have been oh, tires. Uh, Connor Grunwald. Yeah, Grunwald's car. Who was very insistent that he wanted to run a car that had as much weight in it as possible. Oh. Because that meant he could run a wider tire. Oh. Which, so of course, naturally. Camaro. I mean, Camaro. Yeah. It was essentially a full weight Camaro at that point. I mean, so I just bought a have an interior freaking box stock Camaro and just put some angle on it. Well, no, I, just, I just recall the Blue 808 a... Honkook Camaro had some really ingenious mods well, to yeah. the front end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I am actually replicating with E39 chassis BMWs right now. Nice. Yeah. And there was that uh, Ryan Turk did that one year in that Red Bull Camaro. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He did. A, I forgot about that car. Yeah. Like that, you know, like it would just be I would like to build a competitive Camaro, which to be fair would not take a whole lot. It's the suspensions there, and obviously the power plants there because yeah. just about everything in North American drifting that's worth its salt, you either have, already has an LS. Yeah, you either have a JZ, 
or an LS. And even then, you see a lot of guys that are going from RB and Jay-Z to LS yeah. because they realize that sometimes you have to do what everybody else does in order to beat yeah. everybody else. Or you're Matt Kaufman and you have a Ford V8 and a 240. Or, or, you, or you have the, that. Or you're uh, that. That car one, was bad as hell. That thing is awesome. Or you're right. that one dude with the Toyota FT86 with the Ferrari 458. Yeah, yeah, well, fuck that guy. Well, that's a... No, that's okay. Ryan Turk and that's just a demo car. Okay, but it's still cool. Cause yeah. It's Ferrari, right? Get Turk! Yeah. No, it's just a... Ferrari. He, he spent a lot of gum out's money building a demo car. Ferrari. So... As long as he didn't spend his own. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't waste a dollar of my own on a Ferrari V8. <gasps> Not on that Ferrari V8. <gasps> How dare, How dare you? Dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I want the one with the hair dryers. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, you I don't. do. Loses the passion. You watch, dude. The 458s are going to shoot up in value. Yeah, Keep I going. Watched, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I watched the 488 GT3 wait, just wait, kick a lot on, of ass. Hold on. Didn't they say aerodynamics are for people who can't build engines and they can't do either? That was Enzo, and that was back in the day when he could build engines. Oh. Yeah. And oh. no, they were, they were competitive this year in right. the only series that matters. Oh. So there's Is that. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, mm. you know. There's that. <laughs> what about the ones that Keep are relevant to, you know, salt street cars? There's, there's that. Yeah, that one, who cares? Do they even yeah, have a factory back? Like I mean, if they're doing well in Formula One, they make shit like street cars. Yeah. And when they <laughs> suck in Formula One, they make great road cars. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just waiting for yeah, a few down years from yeah. Ferrari and Formula One. Good luck. Well, the, we, what are you talking about? That's all we've had for the last. <laughs> yeah, which is why the hate dad, my margarita yeah, four light five eight and the four eight eight, but doing really good in like the WEC. Yeah, yeah, they've done all right. I mean, they're no nine eleven, but you know, I mean, they, there is no substitute. So I mean, I've heard. Recent I mean, they've been putting the cart before the horse since the beginning of time, and it's been working out for them. So yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, by the way, we're watching a 93 IMSA race, and Wayne Taylor is in third place. Oh, Second, wow. The dad, Wayne Taylor. Yeah, Wait, Wayne Taylor. 1993? Not, not the 93. team, not the team the, boss until the, the, the Wayne Taylor senior. God, his video is as old as I am. God These kids aren't even it. born yet. No, now they really are Quaker State track facts. Oh, God. I think he made Ricky right after this race. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Actually, Gross. if this was like in the spring or summer, I would have already been born. So. Uh, anyway. Yeah, You're fun. so young. Yeah, you God. are. Adorable. Well, all right. That's it for the agenda. We don't have there anything to read from you people. Yep. What do you mean, you people? You I know mean, what I mean, you people. Our people. You people. Our, our people. Our. Ah, that makes sense. There we go. Um. Yeah. So... Yeah, we talked about building a race car. We talked about Lieutenant Dan driving in the Daytona 24 next year. There's no Jesus legs. Yeah. Christ. We talked about a V12 <laughs> Supra that's, yeah. you know, evidence and crimes going up for auction. And maybe we'll pose this, maybe just a thought that just popped in my head. What okay. is? What are your goals for 2018? We're coming up on New Year's resolutions. Oh, yeah. You know, what are your, what are your go. car goals for 2018? And, and Burn my out back to the fucking ground. Okay. The, the Gavin's, do, Gavin's is a dark goal. Before you do goal. that, I <laughs> need your long block. It's dark, but... But hey, you know we support you in that goal. I mean, oh, thanks. We, we can do that. Um, yeah. So, but anyways, that's a thought. Maybe okay, something to so put out Gav- there. Just a, just a thought. So, Gavin so guys, may you- want to be committing insurance fraud. <laughs> Interesting goal for the new year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's actually not my goal. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what you know, can get away with it? That's a that's a worthy second. Yeah. What's sure. your non felonious goal for the new year? No. Um. <laughs> drive more cars, make more friends, make more badass content. Love yes. That. That's yes. brilliant. Wash, repeat. Re- yeah, rinse, hands, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yes. Rinse, wash, repeat. repeat. Yes. Rinse, wash, repeat. Um, specific go. goals. Lotus Elise would be great. I haven't driven a Lotus Elise yet. That's yeah. right. You know, we were chatting about this earlier. We yeah. We're both We've, podcasts. We have one. You will drive one. Joe. The, the, um, Joe, we're coming at you, buddy. I'm actually Joe? really surprised. Joe. The, yeah, I, yeah, who's the, the guy that had that 996C4S that does NASA track days? Don't know. I don't know. We'll call him Bill for right now. We'll okay. figure this out later. And then mine, Todd Deacon has one too. Friend of mine, Lo- Joe Seminoff, has a, is a he, Lotus Elise. Is he one of those kind of people that would Oh yeah, let, let yeah. this happen? Yeah. yeah. He's huge though, so if you wreck it, he will rip you in half. Okay. He is literally like... I, I, I would let him. Okay. Well, you wouldn't have a choice. Cause he would Kinky. Have. All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Damn. <laughs> For me, it's just simply finishing the turbo swap that should have taken only four hours that has taken me a year and a half on my Mark IV GTI. Mm. Have it done. Nice. Done. So you could still well, be slower so you, you than my Golf? Correct. Out. 
We're kids. race. We're gonna race oh, though, Dave. We're going to in a sanctioned event, one on last a private closed road, whatever. Of, professional drivers, blah blah blah. Somewhere in it, somewhere in Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or oh God, look at Wayne Taylor. He's so young, so fucking young. He still has a sparkle in his eye. Jesus, he doesn't even look like himself. Yeah, Ricky took it right out of him. <laughs> Ricky and, oh, hey, oh, 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 oh. Ricky, and then Jordan, that goddamn God. dog. Oh, jeez. That's wrong. Uh, and I, I would have gotten away with it if it no. wasn't for you meddling kids yeah, and you mess- damn stu- dirty dog. You stupid dog. No, but anyway. seriously, shout out to Fonzie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing dog. I'm not kidding. Uh, follow Fonzie Ken Taylor floor. on uh, Instagram. That, that is radical. If you want to follow a proper golden doodle. That is that is good. That is good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so hey, those okay. those are good goals. Yeah, okay. those are good goals. Thoughts. Uh, I'm I'm gonna suck less. Good. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm gonna high five you on that. I'm gonna join you in that quest. Brilliant. Suck, suck less. less. Oh. Suck less. <laughs> blow more. <laughs> Sorry. That's not. Oh. Good. Hey. hey, dad jokes. Thank hey. you. Brilliant. No, I'm actually going to to stay focused on a project. For yes. Me. What? A are you gonna single. Are you gonna see one through? In a single project, and I, I'm at, I'm spending legitimate money on this. Ooh. The Ford that I was telling you guys, yeah. that's yeah. not a Taurus. Yeah. yeah, it's actually not going to be an auto anymore. I've changed my mind. Oh, good. Okay, good new boy. things have come to light. Wise. Okay, <laughs> uh, Bob's well, not going to tell you all what it is. No, yeah, some no. of you viewers or listeners, excuse me, some of you listeners already know what it is. Yeah, keep the secret. Yeah, yeah. please keep do. The secret. Zip or, your we'll, lips. or we will find you. Mm. And we will fucking hurt you. Oh, jeez. I mean, wow. I'll, just, I'll just spank you. He, I mean, not physically, but maybe emotionally. Dear leader, you feel bad about yourself. Dear leader took it to a dark place. <laughs> I was just going to say, ask it. you politely Your not to share. Your ideas are bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> Your meme is bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> it's time to stop. It's time to stop. It is. I, I got <laughs> to go to Smith's. All right, That's well. Well, I, I mean, I, you can just... Take, you can you can take off and you can just turn off your microphone. You know what? You take off, hoser. I live here. Oh, okay. Yeah, hoser. That's right. That's a good point. You're like ten take feet off, from my bed. Take off, you talker, and hoser back to the Great White North area. I hate what you know. Sorry, sorry. Anyways, anyway, any uh, and Wow. Like, All right. <laughs> back to the back to the late nineties we go. <laughs> How them Latrells treating you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, who doesn't want a pair of the fresh starberries? Get some spree wells spinning oh. on that Scooby Doo. Anyways, oh my God <laughs> damn! Y'all remember Pogs? Yes, <laughs> those came out when I was I gone. See my Pog collection. Those blew up when I was in Europe, bro. Uh, who else had a blueberry Bigfoot? Huh? Holy oh, oh, shit! I did. Boom! Slap did. it! Slap it down! Damn right. Do you guys want to see my Pog collection? No. <laughs> and now he's throwing a chair at him. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Excuse me, but you guys don't know the supreme order of the Pog collection. Yes. God damn it. Jesus Christ. At okay. this point, it would be absolutely reckless of you <laughs> to assume exactly what I have in my Pog collection. Don't like robot. make me twist the dog. We've been doing this a long time tonight. <laughs> Are you a voice on Robot Chicken? Because you sound just like that. Anyways. I'm anyway. Like my goal for the coming year. Yes. God willing, I will have a car by the time we have flip the calendar over. If not, get a car soon thereafter. And then, uh, yeah, start traveling more to different out-of-state things. Yay. Perhaps yeah. dragging some of you with me. Radwood. Oh, boy. Radwood. Radwood. Car week. The car I'd be bringing to Radwood would not get us in. However, if we go with Dan... Yes. We have plans for that. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, I really want to make that happen. Oh, you know who we need to go to? Uh, uh, Derek. We need to have Derek come with us to Edgington? Radwood. Yes. Uh, Freaking Jalpa would dude, dominate. I could totally see like you and the Jalpa, and then I'll steal like, Dan Chalinski's Cosworth. And then we'll get um, Davis in a 308, yellow. Canary Yellow 308. I do not know this Davis. But... He's a cool kid. Yeah, you, you, if you saw him, you'd recognize him. Yeah. Okay. No, I just want Dan to park next to somebody with like a five series wagon. Yes. yes. And then just like them just throw just being waspy and throwing shade at each other, totally eighty <laughs> style. Yes. Yes. And then somebody like drives through in a Volvo wagon. Yeah. And I then stopping see Dan with, his, with, with his wagon in a white like yeah. suit. Like blade like the blazer, but like with you, you push sleeves, up the, sleeves, push up cuffed the sleeves, up. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. It's gotta be just like, you know, polo like 
you know, all golf the pants. collars popped. Like, yeah. like yeah. wearing five short shirts. shorts, short shorts. We all like you're going. We can to, all fit in Dan's car. Like you're going yeah. to the country club. Yeah, we can all fit. But in yeah, Dan's car. then you're like like you're about to go do yeah. coke at the country club. I will yeah. ride in the back back seat. Dan's wagon parking next to a five series wagon. They're just like being passive aggressive towards each other. As was the time. As was the style at the time. Group. Yeah, good right now. And then. Um, yeah, they stop talking shit on each other as they see a Volvo pass and park next to them and then complain about property values dropping. Yes. <laughs> and what happened to this neighborhood. Yes. And I guess they're just letting anybody into the country club now. Yes. That's what I want to have happen at Radwood. And they have like an evil 80s laugh. <laughs> oh, he's already, he, yep. Dan is already a member of Radwood. Good. Yeah, well, there you go. Fuck yeah. Of course he is. Yeah, uh, why is this surprising? Dan, but, is, Dan is ahead of everything. Because yeah. it's Do just Do you see colliding. everything that is in his garage collection? It's just, I it's mean. amazing. Yeah. It is amazing, but. Amazing. But, yeah. Good but, goal. Yeah. Get the car. Do more traveling. Do more uh, stuff. Get a passport so I can go to, like, Canada and do some fun stuff up there, maybe. Yeah. Maybe some Europa. You know, go wherever. Yeah. Wherever the wind takes me. Wherever it blows you. Keep giving you people fresh, sweet Gaily. content. Goo. And, you know, talk to some of these people I've been talking to about stuff and things. And such. Yeah. Stuff and things that would benefit a lot of us. In concordance. Vis-a-vis. In accordance with the prophecy. <laughs> anyway, Indeed. folks. Kay. Anyway, folks, that's it. Yes. Um, hope you had a good holiday. We had... Um, Happy New Year. Yep. Coming up. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Drive responsibly. Yeah, by the time. Yes, yeah. please do. Celebrate yeah. responsibly. Take Uber, take Lyft. Yeah, we yeah. Have it take all. a friend. Yeah, yeah. just do it. You Everybody know what? has a Mormon friend. Take a Mormon friend. Or just, yes. you know, you Especially know what? Especially if you, if you bring two Mormon friends, because then they won't drink your beer. <laughs> uh, or, joke. Sh- or, you know, just be that guy, you yeah. know? Just get the DD wristband at the bar. Sure. You yeah. know? Yeah. Be the designated decoy. Don't have a drink and swerve on your way out. Mm-hmm. Because when they pull you over and you blow zeros, the rest of the drunk drivers get away. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to drink some yeah. water to that. In fact, I'm going to not agree with that. Pizza uh, Dad does not agree with that statement no, previously no, said I, by the I professor. I do not condone drunk no, driving. At but, all. Okay. No, it's a, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, be the hero on New Year's Eve. Be the designated do, driver, yeah. you know? Or, you know, do what I fully plan on doing and just kind of keep it mellow and stay home. Movies. You know. Chill out. Watching That's movies. Thing, man. That's Netflix thing. and chill. That some, and European, Gran Turismo. some European films. Ooh, hairy yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay. Well, folks, um, we will be back in the new year. 2018. Woo. Woo. We going to do it. Damn right. Should, Dad, are you going to be here? Should all acquaintance be... Yep, I'll be here. Okay, good. Cool. I didn't want you to finish Auld Lang Syne. It, is your you were, uh, New Year's resolution to make it to more yes. cam cast yeah. than and as, having the pre- prior As my year? actual children age and grow and develop into more a autonomous more. beings, it'll be <laughs> a lot easier to do so. And, uh, and as your wife isn't almost dying. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. She's, that's she's, a big one. She's on yeah. the up and up. Yeah, good. she's that's living, good. That's living well. Good. Yes, as our yeah, bank account testifies. We need you to... Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. Wow. Kicking it real old school. With well, that one. you know, shopping. Hey. Uh, what they do. How about these TV dinners, huh? Hey. <laughs> Still cold. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hope you like chili ramen. You. How's a hungry damn. man treating you? Hey. hey it I I looks just like it hungry tastes. Man. <laughs> I know. It looks just like it tastes. Delicious. Uh, or wait. It tastes just like it looks. I had that backward. <laughs> Anyways. No need to open a can. Grab yourself a hungry, hungry man. man. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to do both, but... Attaboy. Yeah. Because uh, Mama didn't raise no bitch. Oh, uh, there's a great Matt Bronger bit about Hungry Man. There is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. If you're just going to stay at home, feel free to look at that Matt Bronger bit about Hungry Man. <laughs> do it and love it. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we will see you guys in the new year. You know. Be sure to hit us on all of our major social medias at Cam Auto Mag. Yeah. We are also mailbag at camautomag.com. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Go read my article. Yeah. Go read Gavin's article if you haven't already. Jesus I, Christ. I rant and rave about things about a Volkswagen Golf R and a new to me road and. A new road that you all said sucked until you got on it. I just said it sucked. I hadn't, just didn't look interesting from Google Maps. Yeah. And then I got and then I hit the on camera corners. Exactly. And it was lit as fuck. Exactly. 
I haven't said shit about Games. it either way. Yeah, I don't know what road you're talking about. Well, Utah 199. Well, nice. there we go. Me and Dad are going to go on an adventure. We're going to go. Yeah, in the new year, we're going to hit 199. There we go. There me, we go. Me Very and Dad. Good. We'll Very go. Good. Just, just a father-son outing. As it should be. A father-dear leader outing. <laughs> just the t- and you uh, guys are going to... Hopefully, you guys take the Cooper, because that is a perfect oh, car for course. that road. Yeah. No, we're going to we'll, do it we'll in the LF. Pi- uh, blow bigger than at all. No, we're going to... Well, I'll pile in the Cooper. No, we'll do it in the LS. Fuck it. Yes. <laughs> Whack. I was going to say, we we'll, can't we can't be four heads deep in a two-door hatchback. That's just... Uh, I'm 6'4", so... Because, yeah, no. I mean, because I can fit in the back. Yeah. Well, because not behind when me. we sail off no. the edge... Yeah. Well, then we all... I don't want to have... I don't want <laughs> we to all be hold a situation hands. where, like, the survivors have to get pried out, like... They're in a tuna can. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but then I don't want to have to spend 20 minutes next to Gavin's lifeless All body. right, we'll take the LS and we'll waft, <laughs> we'll waft uh. through the goodness that is 199. Four dudes in an LS. Fuck with us. Waft. We'll I be mean, wafting. we're going to have all the elbow room and cup holders. Yeah. Nice. And wafting yeah, right. into the new year. Oh, You should down. just get that on the license plate. Waft. W-A-F-T. I've waft. got a few vanity license plates I would throw on Attaboy. that thing. Awesome. Anyway, um, mailbag at camautomag.com. What would you put on the fearless leader's vanity plate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slide, in, slide into them DMs. Slide into them Spoiler DMs alert. It Cam might Automag. be a Lexus LS. I don't know if we mentioned that. But. I mean, I'm really looking hard on LS430 right now. Yeah, I, dig might it as well. I dig it. Yeah. yeah, might as well. It's all the glory and luxury of an S Class, but the cost and maintenance of a Toyota. Yeah, of a Camry. Mm. Yeah. Of so, an Avalon. But the Camrys, before they started sucking at maintenance. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, we yep. love you. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, like Dave said, social media, mailbag, all that shit. Like yep. Gavin said, read yep. his article. Keep checking Cam Automag. We got DMs. cool stuff going on there. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Support our house band, Methuselworm. Follow Those them on Instagram, rad. Facebook, Bandcamp. They are all very rad people. And... Uh, yeah, Steady Broke Clothing, our sponsor. Yes. Uh, go ahead and see if Cam Auto 15 still works when you go to checkout. Yeah, try it in the new year. <laughs> Give it a shot. Good Who luck. Knows? Who knows? Because you're broke AF and you need that discount. Because you might stay broke with Steady Broke. Yeah. Damn right. Hey. Hey. Dude, right, dude, that's, a, that's a slogan. Dude, stay I like broke it. with Steady Broke. Trademark professor. I like it. Dig TM. it. All right, guys. Well, we will see you in uh, 2018. See Yay. you next. Yay. See you next year. God willing. It's <laughs> oh, you <laughs> had to go there. <laughs> damn it, Dad. Oh, uh, God, okay. damn it. We expected uh, nothing. No, year. hopefully no, this year is better really than the last one. Okay. I'm going to take a nap on the freeway. Hey, guys. Santa Claus versus Godzilla. Who would win? Santa Claus. Godzilla. <laughs>